class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? We got turtle time. We got the turtle power steel cage rules of week two. So Kawabunga or Broabunga, as we say around here, week two of their TMNT contest is here with new rewards in milestones and prize walls. Unlock the new TMNT moment, collect colorful new ultimate gem generation skill plates, and play matches under steel cage rules. So you get to... You get into the ring for the first time under Steel Cage rules this week. Follow them in tours for guaranteed moments that will help you in the showdown tournament rules. So visit the previous contest for TMNT right there by clicking on it when it goes live for you. Remember that all of this is subject to change. It is a work in progress. So as always, when the event goes live, that's when we know what's happening with it. So the Kawabunga solo event is still going on. It has started last week. It will end this week on the 27th at noon, specifically Pacific time. The Buyakasha showdown competition has begun now, and it will last until uh, it'll begin. Sorry, it'll begin Monday and it will end on f Thursday, Friday at reset. That's those are days. So that's when that one will end. Pushing too many buttons, bro. No way this ever works if I press this many buttons. All right, let's try this again. So the Booyakasha Showdown Competition, 9.23 at noon. That's tomorrow, and it's going to end on Friday at reset. And then we have our four different showdowns going on this week. We got the Nunchaku Showdown Tournament, which is going to be male male, And that will begin tomorrow at reset, and it will end Tuesday at reset. And then it will be replaced with the Bo Staff Showdown tournament which is also male male and that will begin tuesday at reset and at wednesday at reset the twin psi showdown another male male and that will be 9 25 so that's wednesday at noon and ends on thursday and then the katana showdown which is also going to be male male so this is different than what it was on last week's bliggity blog that all of these are going to be male male competitions and that's going to go thursday until friday reset and last but not least is the faction loot competition that will also be going all week long. So what are the reward highlights? Well, on the pizza prize wall, which is the next one, there is going to be a new Ninja Turtles moment. And in that moment, power gems, as it looks right now, again, this is subject to change, power gems generated will add 100% more damage on each attack. All color submission moves do 200% more damage per turn. Cross break gems do 75% more damage. Green gems do 50% more damage. And as we've seen on all the types of these new moments, they are not only universal for all game modes, but receive 50% less damage from all color gems. And so they are very, very sought after in that, man in that manner. But on top of that, we also have new ultimate skill plates. So be sure to check out mine and I'm sure Sir Zorro's uh, different uh, channels on YouTube because we are going to have a heck of a lot of fun with these. All of these skill plates are break four of whatever color is in the background. And then you are going to get 10. And these are all ultimate plates, 10 random colors of that gem. So, for example, the one on the left, break four green, get 10 blue break four green get 10 purple and so on seven of them are going to be there for this week um so this is going to be an interesting pizza prize wall so on this pizza prize wall not only is the new tmnt moment token but there will be six star gold ray mysterio Raphael or Raphael. six star bronze Raphael. seven new ultimate skill plates that we just saw above as well as prize wall medallions for the other prize wall are going to be on this one as well. So if you're a person that needs pictures, you can see Ray is at bronze and on gold. These numbers are subject to change. The pizza numbers could change. It is what it is. This is just for illustration purposes, of course. And the different um, uh, plates, the ultimate plates, are there as well, too. The Ooze Faction Loot Competition. This one is for you and your faction. Spend one ooze loot coin. That's the only way to score points, I think. Uh, and the max milestone is 2.5 million for you and your faction. And what you will get is pizza boxes or pizza slices themselves. 
So for you and your faction, you can get in the pizza boxes, you can get anywhere between 10 and 1,000 pizza slices per box. There's going to be 32 of said boxes there for you and your faction, 500 pizza slices for you and your faction, and 100 solo Kawabunga contest points as well. The top 200 factions can also earn more prize wall medallions, and I'm going to assume that it's for the Kawabunga, the other prize wall, not the pizza prize wall. But we'll see. So the Booyakasha Showdown Competition. So you're going to climb the leagues in each showdown tournament. There are four tournaments, four one-day showdowns. Max milestone, 3.5 million for the overall Kawabunga. And this, I'm oh, sorry, for the Booyakasha. And then 7 million points in the Kawabunga solo contest. There will be 100,000 prize wall medallions. The top 800 players can earn more prize wall medallions on the leaderboard of this event and up to 500,000 solo points in the daily showdown tournaments themselves. I believe that's the notoriety part of it. So these are going to be showdown steel cage rules. So how is that going to work? Well, let's move this properly in the right place. So Monday's Nunchaku Showdown Tournament, you cannot use any entourage. So no no um, coaches, no trainers, and maybe even no promoters. You might not be able to do any of that entourage. The boost that you and your group will get is 200% multiply gem damage, 1,000% leech gem damage, 500% trap gem damage, 200% all move damage. The debuff, though, is that red gems and black gems will be minus 50% damage of their strength. On Tuesday, we have a similar thing going on here. So Tuesday's Bow Staff Showdown competition, you cannot use any entourage, but you will get 500% trap gem damage, 300% sub dem damage, 500% countdown damage, and 200% all move damage with no yellow gems or blue gems. I'm sorry, you can use them. They will just have less power and weight to them. Wednesday's Twin Psy Showdown competition, again, has no entourage. 200 multiply, 1,000 leech, 500 traps, 200 all move. It's the same as Monday. That might be subject to change because they are the same. And no red, red and black will be minus ones. There is no Thursday here from my discussions. Thursday is just a regular showdown, not a steel cage showdown and so what are the contest superstars and things that you need so earning any showdown coins will get you one point there's no limit to that and so for each one of these showdowns reaching champion league reaching world league reaching universal league reaching elite league that's for each one of these ones and they go on and on and on and on and on so i'm not going to stay there for that but if you reach all the different leagues you get the different points the same as any other showdown however Winning a showdown with different superstars, that's what we're going to get to now. So if you, for the first showdown, it looks like winning with any technician, this might be all showdowns, winning any technician, 10,000 points, 24 times. Winning with Kama Mustafa from the Nation of Domination, Rocky Maya via the Blue Chipper, D'Lo Brown, and any Acrobat. Okay, so that's going to be the first showdown, I believe. It's not, um, it's not set up that way here. Um, but I think this is how it's going to be. Showdown number two is going to have Cody Rhodes finish the story. That's the technician. Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. That's the striker. Braun Strowman, Monster Bomb, and any trickster. Showdown number three is going to have Dominic. Does I not miss one? I did one. Finn Balor, Judgment Day, Dominic Mysterio, um, Judgment Day, Damian Priest, Judgment Day, and then any new gen. And last but not least, X-Pac Hall of Fame, Triple H, DX Army, Shawn Michaels Hall of Fame, Seth Rollins of the TMNT one time, and Seth Rollins TMNT as many times as you can. So if you can get your hands on Seth Rollins, then you can use him as many times as you want for all those extra points, World Champion League or higher for all of the CSS that I just mentioned. Uh, there will also be limited time tours, and these limited time tours will come with steel cage rules. So you will be able to actually earn guaranteed moments in the tours and benefit from them in the showdown tournaments themselves. So in these tours, there will be over 6 million Kawabunga Solo Contest points, 
84 turtle superstar bags and as it said there are going to be four different um, moments that are going to be there that you can get for free guaranteed by doing these tours for free, free might be the wrong word we don't know what the css is quite so yet but i think with the css you should be able to get them we'll take a look at the css in a second and then we can determine if it's free or not so one that you can get is the rock joins the nation of domination cody rhodes wins the 2023 rumble dom joins the judgment day and the dx hall of fame moment all of those are guaranteed in here so who are they well monday is the nation of ninjas and you are not allowed to use props, titles, plates, moments, or gears. You can use your entourage, basically, but none of these will count. You don't have to take them off. So if you have a title on someone like Rocky Maya via the blue chipper, uh, you don't have to take the title strap off of him or the plates or anything like that. They'll just be deactivated and they won't work. Okay, so don't freak out about that. The CSS for Monday include D'Lo Brown, comma, Mustafa, Farouk, the nation leader, the blue chipper, and then the rock, the great one, the rock, the most electrifying man in sports, and then the rock, the nation of domination. Tuesday is the crime fighters. Again, props, moments, gears, entourage, all of that will not be available. Uh, moments will be available, apparently. And titles will be available. And that includes Cowboy Bob Arton, Terry Funk, Chainsaw Charlie, Liv Morgan, and Indy Hartwell. 2023's Summer of Champions list of players that everyone should have three of the four. Uh, Wednesday, Ronin's Judgment, props, plates, entourages, and titles will not be allowed. And this includes Dominic Mysterio, J.D. Rhea, J.D. Finn Balor, J.D. Damian Priest, J.D. Edge, or, or Edge the Iconoclast, Dominic Mysterio, the tech version, Defendiendo la, la Familia. And then Rey Mysterio, the ultimate cruiserweight. And last but not least, Hall of Fantastic Turtles. And that's all the Hall of Famers. That's Triple H Hall of Fame, China Hall of Fame, Shawn Michaels Hall of Fame, X-Pac Hall of Fame, Rick Rude Hall of Fame, DX Triple H, and Shawn Michaels DX Army, Road Dog Army. So let them know you got a chance to get one of the superstars of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of your choice in the forum giveaway. So if you don't have Seth and you want Seth, here's your chance to do it. Get onto the community forum. Let them know what you think of this contest. Constructive, positive, or negative. Just keep the swearing to yourself. And then make sure, as always, that you like the post. I don't know. I like the post, but I'm going to save that for the stream. I'm recording this before the stream tonight. So if you haven't been, and if you have... Come on out to the stream. Say hello to the bro. If not, we understand. It might be nighttime in your page of the world. Whatever. You get it. Turtle Power, Steel Cage Rules, week two. Let me know what you think in the comments. Good luck this week. Broabunga, everybody. And Brofessor, out.